My name is uh, Derek Matthews. I'm the chair of the Vancouver Avian Research Centre. The Vancouver Avian Research Centre is a registered Canadian charity and volunteer organisation dedicated to wild bird research, conservation and education. During banding sessions, wild birds are uh, misnetted. What happens is as birds are flying through the brush, they fly into the net and then they're basically um, restrained, as you can see, in this long pocket. It doesn't matter which side they, um, they fly in from. We then extract the bird and we pop them into these uh, soft cloth bags. When birds arrive back to the banding pagoda, uh, they arrive in the, uh, the bag. And the first thing, of course, uh, the bird is identified to species. It's then banded using a uniquely numbered um, aluminum band. Two, seven, six, one, eight, five, five, seven, eight. The band is then attached to the bird's tarsus and the bird will wear that band for the rest of its life. So if the bird is recaptured by us or another station or found dead and the band reported, we know part of the bird's life history. Year over year, uh, we retrap about 25% of our birds and that can obviously tell you a lot about habitat um, um, fidelity, site fidelity for these birds. Um, these swains and thrushes are long distance migrants. We've um, had one bird we've retrapped 22 times and sometimes in the very same net. So if you think about that, these birds are going to central South America, coming all the way back, not just to the lower mainland or Port Coquitlam or even to Colony Farm, but to very specific areas in, inside the park which again is why it's so important to, uh, to safeguard habitat for these uh, returning breeding birds. The birds of the world are in serious trouble and common species are in decline uh, all around the globe. Uh, 1,469 species, that's one in eight of the world's birds, are threatened with extinction. And those threats include uh, habitat loss and degradation, uh, climate change and light pollution, uh, plastic pollution continues worldwide. The continuing and widespread use of uh, pesticides across the agricultural landscape has also had a devastating effect on our aerial insectivores. Barn swallows have declined by more than 80% in the last uh, two decades. Local and regional parks form um, critical oases for breeding and migratory birds and none more so than Colony Farm which comprises in part of extensive old field habitat which is unique in the Lower Mainland. Develop suitable habitat in your gardens. Uh, even tiny pieces of, of uh, nature are important for birds crossing increasingly fragmented landscapes. In addition to um, collecting data uh, to, to safeguard habitat for birds, VARC provides uh, lots of public outreach and education to raise awareness of, of environmental issues as they relate to birds. And uh, we do that through visitor programs, uh, which now include uh, a schools program as well. And the purpose of all of these events is to uh, really raise the awareness of these envir environmental issues through hands-on interaction with, with wild birds. So we just encourage people to come down, get involved and you know, just experience you know, migratory birds in the hand and just really understand what a marvel it is that these birds are undertaking these tremendously long migratory journeys. People can make a difference and, and that's really what we're trying to do at VARC.